Well, the crowd were on their seats for a hard-fought final at the Open Derby Championship at the 2017 NCHA Summer Spectacular. The man of the moment was Austin Shepherd on Sir Longlegs and scored a very exciting 229. Congratulations to you, Austin. Thank you. I saw you once the moment you got off your horse and you looked like you were shaking, like you had adrenaline running through your body. How did it feel tonight? Oh, it feels really good. I don't, uh, it's, it's just very exciting to have a run like that in a finals here. Can you describe it? Because the crowd was electric, the horse was electric. Can you, can you run through what that feeling is like? Yeah, well, it's, it's just an adrenaline rush. I mean, it keeps you going, not that you're not excited anyway, but uh, it's just a really good feeling to have everybody pulling for you. Now, what does this win mean to you? It's your first derby title here in the Will Rogers. It is, and, and any time you can win anything in this arena, I mean, these guys are all the best of the best, so to win anything in here or anywhere against this group of horses is impressive, but... You know, when you win a cutting in here, it's, there's so much history in here that it's, it's more special than winning anywhere else. Did you cut the cows that you chose? What was your plan and how did it pan out? Well, uh, the, my first cow and my second cow, we went down there to cut. And, uh, uh, you know, we went down there to cut them. I had another cow on my first cow that I was kind of feeling of that I liked, and it, it, it didn't feel that great, so I went with the other one. Uh, in my second cut, I went back there to cut that cow, and then, you know, the run was building so strong, I just wanted to be cutting quick as I could without cutting too fast, and uh, I couldn't really find anything when I turned around, and I didn't want to waste too much time, so I just came up top and cut shape on a black cow that I didn't think had been cut. It might have, but I was going to cut it anyway. Oh, it certainly worked out for you. You really came out, and when you say you, you didn't want to do it too quickly, but you look like a man with a purpose, and you made it all happen as though you knew exactly the way it was going to all turn out. Well, I, I, I'd like to think I knew how it was going to turn out, but I knew how I wanted it to turn out, and I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to win anything sitting in the herd. I mean, we had three or four great runs. I mean, Matt Miller had a great run, and uh, two of them, and, and John Burgess had a really good run right in front of me. So, I mean, it was a, a very, it's probably the semis and the finals here are probably two of the toughest cuttings I've ever seen in here, four-year-old cuttings. And I saw Matt come over, and he, he actually looked like he was pleased to at least to have won, you know, a run like that and a horse like that and a trainer like yourself, um, you know, getting a 229. Um, it looked like it might have, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't feeling too hard about it. No, Matt and I are really good friends. Our families, our kids, everything, they're, they're like family to us. And uh, a couple of days ago, he let me bring my horse out and work him on some of his fresh cows, and that really helped. And uh, so he told me he wasn't going to let me do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell us about Sir Longlegs. Well, we bought him as a yearling here, and I sent him to Gerald Alexander, who uh, started a lot of our best horses I've had. And uh, I got him as a three-year-old and uh, trained him, and I was second on him at the fraternity and uh, made the semis at the Super Stakes, made a few finals and stuff, but this is his first win. Any plans now? Uh, well, we're going to go to West Texas to Amarillo next week and show him there, and then we'll make our regular fall fraternities, the Cotton Stakes and the Southern and some of those. Okay. One last question for you. Um, you mentioned you know really wanted to build a good run. What's the secret to doing that? How do you really try to create that? Well, you want to be, you want to be in control, but you want to be aggressive. You don't want to be so aggressive that you kind of scatter the cows, make a mess, scare your horse, whatever. Uh, but at the same time, you want to come through there with a purpose, and you, and you and you just have to find an opportunity to be aggressive. And if it doesn't present itself, you can't do it. And that's what I mean by when it when it fits, it fits. And and I could feel it fitting, so I got more aggressive. And I uh, I said one last question, but I do have one more. Do you think there's any psychological advantage coming out last you know the last hole obviously it's pretty tough with the cows but do you think there's any psychological advantage where you know what everybody else has done the crowd is kind of always waiting for a winner at the end do you think there's anything to that I would say so but uh, you know you know what you have to mark so that's a good thing uh, you may not have a whole lot of cows so that's a bad thing and there's pluses and minuses to it but uh, you know it, it, it is good that everybody's thinking this is the only horse that can beat the horses winning. So, I mean, that, that there, there is a little buzz to it. All right, well, you certainly made it happen. Congratulations. Great run. Thank you very much.